Hi there, my name is Jay from Blackmagic Design, and today we're going to be looking at how we can update our ATEM production switches. Now what I'm about to talk to you about today can be used across all our ATEM production switches, but today we're going to be looking at the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. So first of all, we need our ATEM powered and connected over USB. Once we have it connected over USB to a computer and powered, let's hop over to that computer and download the latest version of the software. From blackmagicdesign.com, we click Support, and then we click ATEM Production Switches. Under the latest downloads, you can see all the versions of the ATEM update we have, but let's go for the latest one, which is 8.10.1, and I'm running on macOS, so I'm gonna click macOS. It will then ask for your information, including the serial number of your ATEM. Once we've put that in, it will be in your downloads folder. Now we have it downloaded, let's go ahead and install the update. So we double click on the DMG file and click install ATEM version 8.10.1. And we go through the full installation progress. Wonderful, now our installation is successful. Let's go ahead and open ATEM Setup. And here you can see that we are connected to an ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, which we indeed are. So if we click on that, you'll see that an ATEM software update is available. So let's update. You'll see that your ATEM shuts off and the fans run at full speed, just to make sure that everything is running as well as it can. You'll see here it says, do not unplug your ATEM whilst it is updating. That is really important. But if for whatever reason it does happen, such as a power cut, we do have our firmware recovery procedure. And then you can see here, the update is complete. So let's click done. And we'll be able to see that we are indeed running the latest version of the firmware. Now, what happens if you need to use our firmware recovery procedure? So let's do that. We also need to have the ATEM connected over USB, but we need to power off the ATEM first. If you're running an ATEM Mini Extreme or an ATEM SDI Extreme, you need to be plugged into the second USB, that's USB B. For any other ATEM you needs to be just be plugged into the USB. And now we press the on button for mic one and we power on the ATEM. Uh, the button that needs to be pressed is different for other ATEMs, and if you need more information about that, contact us at blackmagicdesign.com. And now, if we go to ATEM setup, you'll see that there is just a Blackmagic device. That's because this is in its recovery setup. If we click that here, update required, and then we can run that update. Now you can see we are fully up to date with the latest features. If you require any further information, go to blackmagicdesign.com. 